Peace and blessings. This is my queen with divine blessings of power. And in today's video, I am going to walk you through the advanced image tracing with the brother's scanning cut. So um, I am printing out the image now. I actually printed two images on one sheet. So we are actually doing the second image that comes out of the printer. And yeah, so let's print this out first and then we are going to go to the brother scanning cut. Okay, so now we are going to go to direct cut, scan it to the computer, press start. And now it is scanning the image. And as you see on the screen, it's transferring the image to my laptop. And it's there. Okay, so now let's go over to the actual um, Brother Canvas um, workspace. All right, so we click this little spade looking thing, go to image tracing from computer, and it automatically brings it in. Then I'm, I kind of move fast, I'm sorry, but <laughs> you go to that image tracing area, it says outer tracing only, and you go down to the image tracing, and enha enhanced image tracing. And so now what I'm going to do is get rid of all the spaces that I do not want to remain in the image. And you do that by grabbing that minus pin. And so here in between the legs, I don't want. So I actually color it all the way in because I don't want it to like leave little pieces so I color all of that in and what else do I not want um, for the next up I don't want the middle part of this pound sign I'm also going to get rid of in between the end inside the E the X so you see I'm trying to get rid of all the white space and now we need to go to the plus pin which tells us everything that needs to stay. So this softball being white or baseball being white, um, I had to color the entire thing in because as you see it, and there was no green around it. So that was showing that the entire thing was not going to be there. I mean, it was not going to cut it at all. So I'm coloring in the entire baseball to make sure that that remains. And on the football, it was trying to remove the white um, on the side, well, like the tips. So I'm going to color that in as well. But before I do that, I wanted to make sure all the white on the pound sign was gone, removed. So as you see, the way my mind goes, I try to think, okay, because it's the worst thing about this is when you do this and sometimes it still doesn't take away everything that you needed to take away. And then I have to do it all over again. So um, I'm pressing preview just to see what it um, still has. Yeah. 
And this happens because I did not crop it. So now I'm going to go to crop. So I guess I didn't get to the football until a little later. So let's look for the lines to crop. Bring that in. And then I just basically, every time you touch the line, it gives you a point, like a node. And so you just bring that in so that it doesn't leave too much space in between the character and the, well, this basically, basically lets you know where the outline should be outside the entire image and in between the image and the words. So I always bring the nodes in as close as possible. Because even though the software is smart, as I mentioned before, sometimes it leaves um, at least white space that shouldn't be there even after I go through this process and delete it I've had it happen especially with this image so um, actually I wind up even though I'm showing you this one um, with the advanced imaging I actually wound up after printing it it didn't come out right and so I went back and I put a blue outline around next up Unfortunately, I didn't go through the process of recording the um, advanced imaging for that, but I did it because it kept messing up my next step. So I basically just put a blue outline, which you'll see when I'm printing on the shirt. Um, but yeah, now I'm adding all the things that I want to remain. So the eyes are white, the gloves are white, the shoes are white. So I'm bringing that back in. Yeah, we can't make. We gotta make sure it is a little more precise because we don't want any mistakes. Okay, and now I'm gonna go over the shoes. Oh, you see, I go back and forth. So now I'm taking subtracting this space right here. Because we don't want that space in between the arms. Okay, and now I'm going to do the shoes. Alright, the shoes are done, and now finally I am going to do the football, as I mentioned a long time ago. <laughs> I thought I handled it right after I did that, because it just doesn't make sense to go from the baseball away from... I think I didn't notice it at first until after I did the shoes, because what I do is look over the whole thing again. So I guess I didn't notice the football until the end. But yeah, so now we have everything that I want to include... Okay, so um, everything looks like it's good. Let me just get rid of this little piece right here. In between the N and the E, let's press preview. Everything looks good, so we're going to press OK. Now we're going to go up to File, Export, OK. And then export via internet and then OK. And now we'll go over to the Brother Canvas um, machine. All right, we press the cloud and machine. And now we check the image to make sure that everything is um, cut the way we want it to cut. So as you see, it has all the balls. It has between the legs as needed. 
kind of hard for me to zoom in for you to see it. Wait, does it have between the legs? You see me struggling to see if it has it or not. Okay. All right, there it is. And now we go to cut. And you see it has between the legs now. I think I had to go over it again and do it again. And now we cut. If <clears throat> you've noticed, but this, the, the good other good thing about the Brother Skin and Cut is it's much more quieter than the other cutters. It's not loud at all. Okay, so I don't know if you noticed that it's actually going over everything twice. And the reason is because the first the first scan didn't have the middle of the legs um, cut out. So what I did was I went back, did it again, and then brought it back to the machine. And for some reason, the machine went over the image and the words twice. So as you're going to see, it messed up my the pound sign and the end. And that's when I made the decision to just let me just put a blue outline because this is going on a blue shirt. I said, let me put a navy, I mean, a royal blue outline around the next up so that it doesn't cut it separate. So, yeah, you'll see that when it's done, when it's done cutting. See how long it's taking? It doesn't even take that long. It should not be going over the images this many times. But for some reason, because I didn't cancel and then rescan. I just rescanned. It just it went over it twice. Or should, this is like the third time actually. So yeah, it kind of messed up the um. It it didn't really mess up the image so much, but it ruined the words. Okay, so now you see on this image, I put an outline, and you see it's a whole new day and everything. <laughs> I put an outline, a blue outline around the image, I mean around the next up. So it cut perfectly. I thought I shared, I thought I showed you when it ruined the next up, but I guess I didn't. I get frustrated and then I'll just grab it and throw it in the garbage, <laughs> ball it up and throw it in the garbage. So I guess that's what I did, but yeah. So finally we have the whole image cut perfectly. After probably four tries, the two prior before putting the outline and even this one, I think I had to do it, redo it. Um, it didn't cut between the legs and then I had to go rescan it again. But this time I canceled and then rescanned to make sure that it didn't cut a million times. And um, yeah, so then it cut and Star, my dog in the background making a light noise. And so now I'm getting the next up, which you'll see is one piece instead of everything separate and having to use tape. Because the transfer tape doesn't really work well when it's ink like this. It works well for vinyl, but not for sublimated images. 
so yeah so you see that was one piece and i'm laying that i'm getting everything centered and ready for print i mean ready for press okay for, so for me using my eyes to get everything centered takes time so i go really really slowly because no, there is nothing worse than pressing like going through the whole process of scanning advanced image tracing cutting it out and then pressing it and then it's wrong right so i literally like okay i have to take my time so i literally will take a lot of time to make sure that it's perfect before I actually press it to the shirt because I don't want to waste shirts bad enough I've wasted ink and paper I just do not want to waste shirts as well so yeah I take my time and then because they're the three balls are separate I have to just make sure everything is aligned and centered Okay, now that everything is finally centered and straight, we're going to cover it with parchment paper. Press for um, 20 seconds at 385 degrees Fahrenheit. okay so here we are with the finale and the colors are popping perfectly and it's nice and centered and yeah i'm finally satisfied with the end product to give to the client thank you for watching i wish you much peace and blessings and i'll talk to you on the next video peace